Hi everyone and welcome to this video which is going to be focusing on what you actually see during an acid-base reaction. So what we're going to start off with then is if you're given a word equation, so for example magnesium plus hydrochloric acid gives you magnesium chloride and hydrogen with the state symbols, what do you see? So if we have a look at the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid then, as you can see here I've got hydrochloric acid in my boiling tube and I'm going to add some magnesium to it. So you can see straight away there's a reaction occurring. So what you can see here is fizzing, bubbling. The scientific term for that is effervescence. Now if we come back to this reaction when it's finished, you'll see as well that the solid itself has disappeared. So there are two observations here, effervescence and the solid disappearing, dissolving. Now, when it comes to the exam, you may not be able to remember exactly what's happening. However, if you use the state symbols, it's easy to work out. So as you can see here, we have a solid on the left hand side, but not on the right. So that means it's disappeared. And if it's disappeared, it's dissolved. The other thing to look out for is if you have a gas on the right hand side in your products. If you have a gas, you have bubbling, fizzing or effervescence. Make sure that you say one of those three, not that you see a gas, because you can't see a gas, therefore you wouldn't get the mark for it in the exam. So let's use this to predict one. So if we have a look at the word equation, which is copper carbonate plus hydrochloric acid makes copper chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. As you can see from the state symbols here, I've got copper carbonate, which is a solid, hydrochloric acid, which is aqueous, and then I form copper chloride, which is aqueous, carbon dioxide, which is a gas, and water, which is a liquid. So you would see the solid disappearing, and you would see a gas forming, which would give you bubbling, fizzing, or effervescence. Let's have a look and see if we're right then. So adding in the copper carbonate into my hydrochloric acid, you can see loads of fizzing going on here. So effervescence, bubbling, any of those would be the correct answer. And then if I fast forward the video, you will also see that the solid has started to disappear. Therefore, it's formed a solution. Therefore, it's dissolved. OK, let's have a look at an exam question then. So nice and simply, what is seen during this reaction? So you have calcium carbonate reacting with nitric acid to make copper nitrate, carbon dioxide and water. Have a look at the state symbols, look at the difference between the left and the right, and tell me what you would see. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, presuming you've done that, let's see how you've done. So the first thing to note as we've gone through in the video is you have a solid on the left but not on the right, therefore that solid has dissolved or disappeared. And the second thing, we don't have a gas over here, we do over here, so you'll either have bubbling, fizzing, or effervescence. If you said you'll see a liquid form, you wouldn't get the mark for that. If you said it's, it would be aqueous, you wouldn't get a mark for that. And if you said you'd seen a gas, you wouldn't get a mark for that. You have to either say the solid has dissolved or disappeared, or bubbling, fizzing, or effervescence. The same technique can be used for lots of different word equations. So for example, this is the review question. What would you see when lithium reacts with water to make lithium hydroxide and hydrogen? Again, look at the state symbols and you'll notice that the answer is very similar. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below. And you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com and Facebook and Twitter.